Today's episode will be about the top five things you can expect a narcissist to go through when experiencing loss or failure, especially when it's a real and painful failure for them. The loss I'm referring to for the narcissist is when they fail in any of their manipulative tactics with you, such as regaining your attention, for example, if they can't succeed in re-establishing a relationship with you. Before we delve into what happens to a narcissist when they feel failure or loss, it's crucial to understand that narcissists don't handle failure the way ordinary people do. Although my language may be in the masculine form for ease of communication, it is essential to know that the narcissistic personality we are discussing can be either male or female. Also, I want to thank you for your support, and if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel to help spread this information to anyone who may need it. Narcissists have a competitive nature that is unusual, and this nature doesn't allow them to accept anything other than victory. Typically, narcissists succeed in reaching their desired goals. In my opinion, I don't believe there is a more critical goal for a narcissist than winning and triumphing. Therefore, when a narcissist fails in a specific matter or feels a loss, you should be prepared to witness some behaviors that you may not have seen before. Our topic today will focus on the things you can expect from a narcissist when they feel failure or loss in a particular situation. Firstly, the narcissist will begin to doubt any evidence of their failure, even if the proof is irrefutable. The narcissist will attempt to reinterpret and reframe the evidence in a way that portrays them as the victim. At the same time, you should be aware that anyone presenting evidence of the narcissist's failure or proof that they lost in their task will face the worst reputation-smearing campaign they may experience in their life. The narcissist will attack the person who presented this evidence, describing them as a liar, harboring resentment towards them, or portraying them as manipulative or even insane for making such statements about the narcissist. Additionally, the narcissist may claim that the person is fabricating the information they are sharing about them. In essence, regardless of the evidence presented against them and its accuracy, the narcissist will resort to these tactics. If the narcissist cannot deny the presented evidence, they will look for someone to shift the responsibility onto and sacrifice to save themselves. The narcissist will choose someone who lacks the ability to defend themselves or confront the accusations directed at them. The most crucial thing for the narcissist in their life is to win and not lose any battle under any circumstances. The narcissist grants themselves the right to use any means and methods to achieve victory, regardless of how unethical or morally wrong those methods may be. By the way, the narcissist, being indifferent and without any emotional attachment, may even sacrifice those who have been loyal and served their goals for a long time. They may discard them at the first sign of trouble to avoid the confrontation and potential loss they might face. So, don't be surprised if you find the narcissist sacrificing the most loyal individuals, be it a spouse, child, or anyone else, just because that person stood up to the narcissist. This action will make the narcissist ruthless, showing no mercy, even if that person was once considered one of their closest allies. The narcissist has no qualms about throwing even the most devoted people into the fire if it means getting out of the problem they are facing or ensuring a quick victory. Remember that the narcissist is loyal only to themselves and adheres to the principle, me first and my enemies second. The narcissist will draw anyone associated with them into sharing the same fate that they are about to experience. When the narcissist finds themselves cornered, implicated in a specific situation or problem, and it has been proven that they are indeed responsible, they will try to drag someone else along with them, attempting to convince everyone that it's not just them alone who did this or is solely responsible, but that there are other people involved. A very dangerous thing the narcissist does when feeling defeated, facing consequences for their actions, and unable to escape or find someone to shift the blame onto, is that they start distancing themselves from everyone, including their family and children. They begin to escape to a new place and try to start a new life with any available resources or connections in their life. Don't deceive yourself into thinking that after cornering the narcissist with evidence of their actions, they will accept accountability or reflect on their behavior. It's impossible for them to accept this reality. They won't admit failure in a relationship or any aspect of their life. Their sole concern will be to convince themselves of a completely different, often untrue, narrative. They try to delude themselves into believing that they are the victim, that everyone is conspiring against them, and they won't accept that the game is over. They refuse to acknowledge that the truth has come out, revealing the reality they spent their entire lives hiding behind a facade and a deceptive personality. 
By the way, after the narcissist decides to distance themselves from those they were once connected to, the best thing they can do with them is to minimize the damage, harm, and negativity that has been caused. Believe me, the best outcome you can get from a relationship with such a person is for them to leave and distance themselves from you, or for you to be the one who can escape from this toxic relationship. That was today's episode. I hope you found it beneficial. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments. Also, if you have any feedback or advice regarding the channel, feel free to share it with me. Thank you.